What's up YouTube, we're back here on NCAA 25 with another tip video. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, how you can read a defense here in this game. Um, probably one of the most fundamental skills to be able to play good offense is actually understanding, you know, what the defense is doing and, you know, there are different ways to be able to recognize that pre-snap and then, but you also have to be able to translate it after the ball is snapped. So looking at the picture that you, you're going to envision to the picture that you actually see when the ball snap so that all that's important we're gonna talk about all that and more here in this video but don't forget to go down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn those notifications on check my tiktok for more helpful video tip clips and i'll see you guys on the other side of this break all right so the first thing we need to talk about when we're talking about reading a defense here in this game specifically in really in madden uh they added these new packages uh or not excuse me not packages covered shells to this game um so now people are able to run cover two but i mean excuse me run cover zero but disguise it as cover two or run um cover two but disguise it as cover three so they have all types of different ways that they can go about this with these new coverage shells so that kind of puts a wrench in our you know game plan as far as reading defenses but we're gonna talk about how we have a counter to that um later on in the video but um yeah I, i'd be remiss if i didn't talk about how um that's the thing in this game and how you have to understand that just because it looks like cover two they could be showing a cover zero right and it ends up being a different coverage so you need to be aware of that but let's jump right onto the field all right so obviously i'm in the tight slot right now but again this doesn't really matter to the formation i um i do think that like gun bunch or gun cluster any any formation where you have one receiver split out to the um sideline so I, I don't know if there's a formation in in this play specifically but if you have just one receiver split out the words is all, all the way out basically on the sideline right that's when in my opinion it's the easiest to, re to be able to read a defense but i've kind of been running this tight slots for a minute running tight formations for a long time so i've kind of understood um and played against a lot of different defenses to be able to you know know necessarily what they're in so this is going to be a cover two defense and the way that i can so i always like to think about a checklist um when i'm talking about reading a defense so the first thing that you have to do is look at these safeties okay if they are this far back if they are like 14 to 15 yards away off the ball right now people can press their defense but normally that doesn't affect how far the safeties drop so pricing their defense doesn't really do anything so if these safeties are 14 to 15 yards off the ball all that's going to do is it's going to tell you that it's not cover zero okay it is not cover zero so you can check cover zero off the box okay so it's not cover zero next thing you need to look at is how many where's is this guy in the middle of the field or is he over here okay so you can see right here he's over here so we have a split field coverage which means it's either now going to be so we know it's now not cover zero we know it's not cover one so it can be cover two cover three or basically cover four we're not going to really talk about cover six and cover nine i'm not talking about all that here in this video those are exotic coverages that you know you know take a little bit more detail to get my understanding here this is either cover two three or four and we know it's not well we don't actually know it's not cover three because cover three if you because cover three can be run with these two safeties like this or it can be run like um this a lot of people do actually run cover three like this so now we know because that that it's probably based off our checklist that it's probably going to be cover two or cover Four. and for me i just know that this is going to be cover two because look at where these um excuse me where these cloud flats are excuse me these corners are they this is an alignment of a cloud flat of a guy who's going to give up the inside cushion so that he can try to take away the sideline if i audible to a cover four look at where this guy right here where, look at where he just moved into he moved inside because he's in, he's in a zone a deep zone so he wants to kind of take away the little seam area a little bit more than a cloud fly would have to be able to do so he's going to move inside a little bit and if we go to reset the play you can see that this corner he moved back to where he originally was he came down a little bit further and he even moved a little bit more outside so you have to pay attention to where these guys are lined up when the ball is snapped as well because what people will do is they'll say okay i'm in cover four but i'm gonna move this guy right here so now this looks like a cover two right 
and then I'm gonna also move him down, right? Or excuse me, move him up. So now it looks like cover two. So you have to pay attention to what the coverage looks like off the rip because people might move defenders around. They might man people up and they might do a lot of different things. What's up YouTube, before we jump back in this video, I need you guys to go hit me with a follow on social media, my TikTok and my Twitch, or BLT for Life 21, it's gonna be on the screen. And then my Instagram and my Twitter is BLT for Life 22. Go hit me with a follow over there, we'll definitely make a better college football and really Madden player. I upload tips on both of those on all my social media. So hit me with a follow over there, and let's jump right back into the video. Now, another thing that you're gonna notice is I'm gonna go ahead and snap the ball, throw the ball away, right? So we're gonna run this again. I'm gonna show you another difference between cover two and cover four. Look, look at the, where these safeties are. You can see basically they're lined up at the same spot, right? They're lined up. Um, basically, if I draw a line between the two, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be nice and straight, right? Look why I audible to a cover four defense. You can just see how not only do both of them walk down a little bit more, and the reason why they walk down is because of zone behavior and zone logic. A deep app, which is what cover two has, they want to drop all the way back. In a cover four, they have to try to defend up the seam a little bit more. So they're going to come up just a little bit more, but they're not going to be close enough for this to be, you could say this is going to be a cover zero. But also look, look at where this guy is. He's at about, this looks like today be the 47 yard line and this guy is about at the 45 so he's about two yards above him and that makes all the difference in giving away you know necessarily what they're in it's now it's very obvious okay so we go back to our original checklist that's always the way that i like to look at it but you always have to be doing these things very quickly all right so this i know that this is not going to get cover zero because these safeties just know that in a cover zero we're going to audible to cover zero these safeties they would i i touched this guy which is why he didn't move but these safeties would be like all the way down here and the reason is cover zero safeties are in man coverage that's kind of the principle of it so they need to be you know close with the ball to be able to you know play solid man coverage but if we go back to our cover four and i have to move him back up over here which is kind of where they are the checklist safeties they're not super far back but they're not super close so it's probably gonna this is a cover four defense a cover two defense we go ahead you can see where these clap ads are they're close with the ball and then they're lined up kind of outside of those receivers basically telling you that they're in a cloud flat here and let me go ahead and move him back because in cover two you're going to be able to see these guys are super far back and the reason why is because they have to defend half the field already so it's two guys each one each defending half the field so they don't have room to be able to like come down and like like they can just run a shriek right uh you can just run a shriek right over him because he's so close to the ball he needs to have enough cushion to be able to you know in order to defend half the field so cover zero the first thing you need to look for against cover zero is a lot of the time when they're running covers they're the running man coverage so it's going to be pretty obvious but look at those safeties against cover one there's just going to be a single high safety they're probably going to be man aligned cover two these um safeties are going to be the furthest back out of pretty much any zone coverage cover two and cover three and then in cover two you can just see these cloud flats are a little bit more outside and you know kind of covering your receivers here cover three you can just see they're going to move back inside a lot more and then in cover four you're going to be able to see what's going to happen is he's going to walk down he's going to stay basically up so these guys aren't going to be aligned but like each with each other they're going to be one's going to be like two yards above the other so that tells you that they're going to be in cover four maybe even a cover four match type of defense so that's how you basically read cover this basically cover zero cover one cover two cover three and cover four the, basically each one of them has an individual tell that you know kind of gives it away now a lot of people are going to make adjustments they're going to use their coverage shells they're going to be cross manning people so you have to understand the basic the basic coverage shell that they're going to be in but a lot of it is also understanding tendencies throughout the game some people they they run cover three but they run a cover three instead of this being a cover three sky defense where this guy's now an outside third they're gonna run a cover three cloud where they're gonna have a cover two a cover two mabel over here on this side so it's gonna be something like this is still a cover three defense and that's kind of what we identified as with our checklist 
but it's going to behave and it's going to apply a little bit differently. So understanding your opponent's tendencies throughout the game as well also is um, pretty important to this. But the last thing we're going to talk about is you have to be able to call route combos that will beat every single defense because you're going to be times where you're going to guess the coverage wrong or they're just going to where you're not going to read the coverage at all and they're going to completely shock you so that's why i say if i read the defense right and i say okay i know they're going to be in a cover two defense well what if i guess wrong what if they go into a cover four i call a cover two beater and they're in cover four right so we go ahead and take the snap and now that's just not open because they're actually in cover four instead of what I thought they would be in, which is going to be cover two. So that's why I say you have to be able to call route combos that will be every single, or try to at least have a side that will be every single defense. So now same thing where I think they're going to be in cover two, but they end up being cover four. I call another cover two beater, yes, but it can also be cover four. So just a mesh kind of cross concept here. But boom, once again, they're going to be in cover four, but this time we're going to have a a cover four beater on that side that crosser um to that rb receiver is going to do a really good job and then let's just say once again we do the same thing where i think they're going to be in cover two but they end up dropping into a cover three now this would be a pretty obvious read that this would be a cover three defense but let's just say i didn't know what i was doing or you know i just guessed wrong well i think they're in cover two but they end up being cover three let's just say i happen to call one play touchdown right i call a one play touchdown that beats cover two and they end up being cover three now luckily for us this route combo also does be cover um three now if i had time in the pocket i would have had x open down the field but you're just able to see where i can't put my drop back everything kind of ties into it you have to be able to correlate everything together so it starts with the reading defense then it starts with pocket presence then it starts with reading each individual defenders and finding your way across the field with your quarterback but you're able to see we call a rock combo that also beats cover three and this guy ends up getting moved to the sideline and then we have a post that's going to break open over the top we get time for a quarterback so that's why i say we read cover two incorrectly but we call it a route combo that also beats cover three and there are certain route combos that beat literally every single coverage in this game so we call one of them right here they run cover one right i mean excuse me they run cover zero we have a running back angle route we have a tight end out route we have an rb crosser they run cover one same thing they run cover two well we're gonna be able to isolate a cloud flag defender right here if they run cover two right with this deep crosser and this route to a so and then if they run cover three when we go ahead and shift into a cover three we're going to have our crosser open um and we also have our running back angle around the middle same thing against cover four so let's just say we read man coverage and they ended up dropping in the zone which is going to happen a lot that's probably the most common one where you incorrectly read that they're going to be in man coverage and they end up dropping into uh, some sort of zone coverage possibly cover three well we still had a good zone beating concept here we're going to be able to throw our running back in the middle of the field and pick up a big game you know that's pretty that's pretty simple um being able to call plays and route comps that will be every defense because if you don't you know you're gonna be left basically empty-handed as far as the play goes and that's how you can create negative plays as an offense is literally just calling bad plays that can't be big they, they can only be one coverage you want to be very you know multifaceted in an offense and be able to have plays and route comes and be every coverage so if you run my offense that's why i always talk about this play beats zone but it also beats man well here's if they run man here's a here's a zone beater as well so you have a bunch of different things because you're gonna have to be able to call plays that can be every single coverage so that's how you read every single defense in this game and that's how you can beat defenses even if you read them incorrectly but that's pretty much all i got let's jump right at the outro all right so it's going to do it here in this video breaking down how you can beat defenses here in college football 25 one of the most important things that you'll um ever learn how to do or ever be able to do it's going to make your life on offense a lot easier you know understanding what coverage they're in and then you know understanding how you can really beat it after you snap the ball that's super important but you know let me know if you guys have any other questions any other things that you guys you know want to see um to help you understand how to play better offense here in this game something that i do on every single down i try to read the defense and try to figure out a way to beat it also understanding opponent tendencies is another thing that's pretty important but yeah that's pretty much all i got don't forget to go down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn those notifications on check me out on tiktok for more short video tip clips and i'll see you guys in the next video peace